Hello everyone, GaffTheMath974 here again today and welcome to a source tutorial of some description. I'm going to class it as a hammer tutorial because it kind of has some relation to the hammer editor. And to try and get some of the preamble stuff out of the way, you want to follow this tutorial if you have a material or a model where you want to have a predetermined cube map reflection. So for example, you can check out the Half-Life 2 train props where they're only used in the first level of the game and they have a predetermined QMAP reflection or the decal Kleiner puddle material which also is based off of a predetermined QMAP at least the reflectivity is and you also want to follow this if you have a map with a 3D skybox with some water so whether it be an ocean or a river and regular QMAP entities don't reflect the water as they're supposed to. And so you could use a pre-built cube map and then that solves a problem. Uh, Sin Episodes Emergencies High Rise 03 level, for example, would be a good case where this is, well, the case. And so you need to follow this kind of tutorial to get reflections to work as they're supposed to. And so simply what you want to do is have a map and also do a HDR compile of the map. And once you have that, I'm assuming you can do it. It's not too difficult. And you want to type into the developer console, mat underscore envmap TGA size, and then a number. I recommend you use numbers that are for QMAP reflections. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512. I'd probably put the limit at 512, if the truth be told. But um, essentially what this is, is it's going to create a texture that's going to be your cube map, and it's going to be of this dimension. So for example, it defaults to 32. So in the next step, what I'm going to tell you, your textures will be 32 by 32. If you want it to be any smaller or bigger than that, then you change the number in this uh, variable to whatever number you want. So in my case, I'll change it to 256. And then you want to get into a position where you want to base your reflections off of. Now this can be quite difficult and I'm using Gary's mod. So you could just use the camera tool and just place a camera down where you want to. Though your character model or the fizz gun can get in the way. So you want to no clip out of the area that you're in. And then also if it's for the 3D skybox, which is what I'm doing, then you can use the console parameter r underscore 3D sky zero to disable the 3D skybox. That way that doesn't get in the way. Uh, and once you have your situation set up, I advise you start in LDR mode. So you do mat underscore HDR level zero. And then you just type in the console parameter envmap. And then what it does is it almost looks like the build cube maps when you do that. Um, but it's doing it in one instance where you're located. And if you can do mat HDR level 2, type in the same command, envmap, and then it takes a little longer because it's doing the HDR cube maps. And what this does is it creates textures in your game's cube map screenshots folder. So in my case, I'm in Gary's mod. So you'd go, you know, Steam, Steam apps, common, Gary's mod. Gary's mods and in there is QMAP screenshots and if you go in there then you should see that you have textures which go like your map name and then you get front back left right and up down so six textures and if you do LDR and HDR then you end up with 12 um, so you get 6.tga files and 6.pfm files uh, the pfm files are for the HDR QMAPs and so what you want to do is copy these textures to your materials SRC folder and you can put it in whatever folder you want to. So in my case, I'll put them in environment maps, but you can put them wherever you want to. And you want to create a text document with, which has the name of the files that you have. So in my case, the map's called SE1 underscore high rise. So you want to call the text document se1 underscore high rise in this case so whatever the uh, texture name is called minus the back or bk or minus the up for example and in the case of the ldr q maps what you want to do is just 
drag the text document onto your game's vtx.exe executable file. And what it should say is something like VTF created successfully. And that would output a .vtf file to your materials environment maps folder in this case. Uh, so it outputs the folder, uh, so it outputs the file to the corresponding folder in the materials folder based off of where it is in your materials src folder, if that makes sense. I know it doesn't, but I'll hopefully show it in the video. Uh, and then for the .pfm stuff, you want to add in pfm1, pfm scale1, and no compress1. Save the text document and then drag that onto vtext.exe as well. It should compile a lot faster and you should see something like pfm scale equals 1.000 whatever. And this creates the HDR version of the texture which you need for HDR mode. Uh, and so if you go into, in my case, materials environment maps, then you should have se1 underscore highrise.vtf and se1 underscore highrise.hdr.vtf. And so you can look into the file with something like VTF edit and you should see you have the faces of the reflection oriented in the correct way. And there's also a sphere map as the last texture that's needed for the reflections to work. And for the HDR version, it's just black, but I believe it's just a transparent texture as the last one instead. And so you can basically go into the material that you want to have this reflection on and change the env map or the dollar sign env map parameter to point to this material. So in my case, I would say, oh, I want the reflection to be based off of materials, environment maps, se1 underscore high rise. And that overwrites the reflection to be this specific reflection that I just created. And so it updates in game and in the hammer editor as well. So that's pretty much all you need to do. I hope you found this helpful. I know I might not have made any sense and I'm dragging this on for longer than it needs to. So I'll just end it here. So yeah, that's how you do it. Hopefully it works for you. If you have any problems, let me know. You shouldn't, but hopefully it all works out well and you can use this in your maps. So yeah, take care out there and see you next time.